Live from my office, it's the most prestigious award show of the season. It's the 2024 Vindo Awards for 2023 with your host, me. Happy relatively fresh year. 2023 gave us a lot of great new content, particularly in the Blue Hedgehog category. After 2022, I didn't think we could be eating better as Sonic fans, but 2023 kept the hype train rolling across TV, games, live events, and more. So to kick off the Vindo Awards, let's take a look at Sonic the Hedgehog in 2023. Let's start with Best Sonic Comic Book Cover. I'm gonna give this to Jack Lawrence's cover for number 64. This uh, Pepe Sylvia ass silver, great. Look at that. That's just that's wonderful. So goofy. Um, I I love it. Best fan project. Well, probably the most impressive is got to be the Project Shadow fan film. A group of fans made something that might as well look official. I'm sure that so many people on TikTok are like, whoa, the trailer for Sonic Movie Three, and it's a fan film. Also, my friend Nate is in the English dub, so shout out to Nate, and shout out to everyone involved in that movie. Great work. Best piece of new Sonic music. This is a trickier one because there's so many new tracks. I mean, we got, what, four video games this year, technically? I'm gonna give props to Lagoon City Act 2 from Sonic Superstars. That hits that perfect sort of Sonic CD chill vibe that I'm after. It kind of gives me vibes of the Saturn version of 3D Blast 2. It's a good track, I like that one. But I, I have to give it to I'm Here Revisited, which feels unfair because I'm Here was a song that just already existed, but this version of it just made it that much better. And the climax of, of that game is so cool. I was, I was fun, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Best new Sonic toy. Sonic Metro. Sonic Best Sonic Prime episode. Um, I'm too lazy to look up the title of it, but the first episode of season two. Because Shadow's cool. See you back home. Best Sonic event I attended. Last year, I guess I only attended one Sonic event. And that was Sonic Revolution, so that's the winner. It's a great event, it's fun. You get to meet a whole lot of other Sonic fans. It's really nice. I wish I could have made it over to Sonic Expo because that also looked like a good time. And of course, best Sonic event I didn't attend in 2023, Sonic Symphony. Man, all the people that got to see like Full Crush 40 up there, I'm jealous. <laughs> Although I'm lucky enough, I get to go to Sonic Symphony twice this year, so um, I'm super stoked about that. If you get the chance, if it's coming anywhere near you, go do that, because if you miss out on live Sonic music now, I don't know how many options you're going to get. Do it. It's fun. Any Sonic event is really cool, because you're just in a room full of people that love Sonic, which kind of feels rare sometimes, so I say do it. Live for your dreams! Let them live for their dreams, Shadow. That is the reason why you were brought into this world. Most Sonic-like thing I did all year. Curl up into a ball-like fetal position and contemplate existential dread. Best overall new Sonic thing in 2023. Um, I'm gonna give it to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Because how often are big video game companies as like a fun little April Fool's thing, giving you a full game for free. Now that's an April Fool's joke I can get behind. Not to mention all of the great character interactions that are in the game. I, it's just so much fun. You don't get to see a lot of these characters super often anymore. So uh, it's fun to see them all interacting and having a good time. And it was really fun voicing it over when we did the live stream for it. I had the channel members also vote on their favorite Sonic thing from 2023. The winner there was Sonic Prime. Look at that. Some grade Prime Sonic Prime. Let's broaden the categories. Other Media Awards. Best comic book. I'm gonna give this to uh, Deep Cuts by Kyle Higgins. It's a jazz anthology series. Each issue follows a different musician in their journey with jazz music and how it's influenced their lives. It's good stuff. Best song. 
I'm giving this one to No More Lies by Thundercat and Tame Impala. Those are two artists that I love individually, and to see them come together and make a, a song... I, I had it on repeat while I was editing for a while. Um, great song. Great artists. Best live show of the year. I go to a lot of concerts. I think the best one for me this year was Young the Giant. They uh, were touring in support of their new album that came out at the end of 22. The whole thing with this record is that it's split into different acts and uh, they have like a different theme kind of thing. And the way they put on the show was very cool. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Best band that I found this year and couldn't stop listening to. Vacations. They just put out a new record. Like the day that I'm recording this, they just put out a new record. This band is great. It's some dudes from Australia. They make like chill indie rock. It's great. Put on vacation. Album of the year. I can't not give it to Foo Fighters, but here we are. Really powerful album, and I enjoyed it a lot. The last song on that record makes me cry. <laughs> Lots of good songs on it, though. And it's Foo Fighters. I mean, how are they not going to win that, right? Best TV show, One Piece. I wasn't expecting a live action anime adaptation to be that good. I was very impressed with it. It's not perfect by any means, but it captures the spirit of the original so well. And it's so well cast. They did such a good job. Uh, all of them seem to really respect the characters and just do a great job of, of performing. Uh, that's a, it's a good show, give it a watch. Best TV show that isn't One Piece. So I'm gonna give this one to Jury Duty. Jury Duty is a fun little like quasi-reality show. I don't know how you would explain this because there's one guy that thinks he's in a real jury, but he's in a, in a mock trial with all actors, but he, he's the only one that doesn't know that he's, you know, in a TV show. It, it, it's very, very funny. Very well done. Uh, James Marsden is in it playing himself. And I love when actors play themselves and they're just an asshole. Uh, that's very funny to me, and that this show does a really good job of that. <laughs> Best movie of the year. This is the hard one, because there was a lot of really good movies this year. This is pretty much like a, a tie between all of these. The Holdovers was really, really good. A movie that makes you really respect the teachers you had growing up. I think hopefully most people have had at least one teacher that they connected with on, on like a on a certain level. This movie explores that relationship really well. and It's it's a really good movie. I love this movie. Godzilla Minus One. Easily the best Godzilla movie for me. Such a hard balance with Godzilla. The monster stuff versus the human stuff. And when you can make the human stuff more interesting than the monster stuff, that's impressive. Well done. Good movie. Barbie. It swept the nation for a reason. A very smart and funny movie. We love Barbie. Across the Spider-Verse, sequels are so hard, and especially when you're coming off of something as strong as that first Into the Spider-Verse. I was hopeful, I, I thought that the you know the sequel was gonna be good, but I didn't expect it to like be on par with that first movie. Really good, a really, really good soundtrack too. It was hard for me to not pick this for my favorite, but. I'm gonna go with TMNT Mutant Mayhem. I've never been like a Ninja Turtles fan, and this movie kind of swept me off my feet. I was uh, I was not expecting to get this into a Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> it does a really good job of humanizing all of its characters, and it ju it just feels real. I don't know how how else to describe it, but like having the turtles be like actual teenagers, which I think is something that's not done very often. Wow, yeah, good movie. It makes me feel things. Also, Mondo Gecko. Paul Rudd is Mondo Gecko. Digging your vibe. Come on. That's great. <laughs> All right, now we're heading into the miscellaneous category. Best Chow Dad moment would be when I picked up my, my child delivery from Chow Kindergarten after I'd left him there for a full year. Yeah, I'm here to pick up my son. Wow, he learned the symbols. Hey! This is a fate worse than death! Brought him home, I took him back. I'll see you in one year. So, be on the lookout when we pick up my son from school in August. Best cat that appeared on this channel. That of course goes to the Obi boy Best treat crunch. 
Uh, that's gotta go to me. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a big upset, I know. Because Opie does a really good crunch, but... <laughs> I ate a crunch and then I did a really hard challenge. All I had to do was eat a Tiki Cat Cruncher! So I think I deserve this one. Uh, and it's not just because I ate cat food. Time I made my friends most mad at me on stream. Uh, it was when I said that Amy shouldn't be in Sonic Movie 3. But, Black dude no, being he, in the he, movie he, would make more sense than Amy. Oh my god, oh, so stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen. If she is, great. I just hope they do it well. <laughs> Best food that was taken away in the prime of its life. The pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger. It's gone now. Now there's the pretzel baconator, which I guess is okay. It's pretty good, but it's just just make the pup burger. Just bring back the pup burger. What are you doing? Spookiest man I met this year. Uh, that goes to Dracula. I met I met Dracula. An inversely nicest man I met this year. Jason Griffith. What a legend. What a true legend. The award for item I received that looks most like an award but is not an award. Uh, that's gonna go to this Mickey Mouse statue that I received. It just sort of looks like I won a really important Disney award. I want to beat my mouth and Walt. Uh, award for an award I actually was awarded outside of these awards. Award. Look at him. It's the golden chow. I won a Sonic trivia contest at Sonic Revolution. Um... Shout out to my team members on that. That was fun. And finally, the most important award of the night, the reason I do this award, it's you. Uh, thank you so much for watching um, and supporting and believing in my content. <laughs> um, it gets hard sometimes, but to see people react and enjoy what I'm doing, it means a lot. So thank you to everybody who watches, everybody who's ever done a super chat, thank you so much, and especially thank you to my channel members. I really appreciate that, and there should be some cool content coming for channel members. I've got a few old things that have never seen the light of day that'll be hitting the old channel member only playlist really soon. But as we close the door to 2023, the door to 2024 is wide open. What do we want to see in 2024? From Sonic, I want them to take advantage of the movie synergy that they'll have and just make it like a Sonic and Shadow game would be would be so cool using like the blueprint for Sonic Frontiers and just making a game with Sonic and Shadow in there. That'd be peak. I want to see it. From the channel, I have uh, quite a few videos that are in different stages of production <laughs> that have been for a long time. What you can look forward to next, Shadow the Hedgehog, baby, the video game, hashtag 2005's hit game, Shadow the Hedgehog. We're going to talk about development, merchandise. It's a little retrospective, so I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel, guys. What do you want to see in 2024 from Sonic and from me? What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already done it. And if you have already done it, press it again. And then press it one more time. You know, unsubscribe for a moment and then resubscribe just to kind of get a taste for how it feels. And uh, I don't know, there's probably like a bell or something. I, I'm not going to pretend to understand it. It's a never-ending cycle of pressing buttons. So just press as many buttons on the screen as possible and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching this. And, uh, don't forget your award. I'ma love you, I'ma miss ya. Take care. Uh, sounds... You're now watching Vendo. I gotta go fast, catch up, you been slow, you win slow. Smell the burn rubber on my midsole. Everything you do once, trust, we'll do it tenfold. You're now watching Vendo. You're now watching Vendo.